Well, new video surfacing of a Chinese warship cutting off a U.S. destroyer, nearly colliding with it in the Taiwan Strait. Now, this is just the latest aggressive military move by the country that has U.S. officials right now on edge. ABC's Lindsay Watts has more. New video this morning shows just how close a Chinese warship came to a U.S. military destroyer in the Taiwan Strait Saturday. The video captured from aboard the USS Chunghoon and additional footage of the incident coming from Canadian broadcaster Global News. Estimates are the Chinese ship was just 150 yards from the U.S. destroyer. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin warning China's government. Do the right things to rein in that kind of uh, conduct because I think accidents can happen that could cause things to spiral out of control. China's defense minister is defending its warship. What's the telling the U.S. to, quote, mind your own business and calling the U.S. and Canadian military presence in the Taiwan Strait a provocation. The U.S. is seeing an alarming increase in confrontations with China. Just last week, a Chinese fighter jet flew within 400 feet of an American spy plane over the South China Sea, forcing the U.S. plane to bounce wildly through turbulence of the fighter jet's wake. U.S. officials criticized the maneuver as unnecessarily aggressive and part of a pattern by China. They're trying to um, you know, flex their muscles and advance authoritarianism. We need to stand strong. The Republican chair of the U.S. Intelligence Committee calls China's aggression unbelievable, also highlighting that massive Chinese spy balloon that traveled across the U.S. before being shot down. The Biden administration is looking for a diplomatic fix to the souring relations, sending a senior State Department official on a rare visit to Beijing. China's defense minister declined a meeting with Defense Secretary Austin at a security conference in Singapore on Friday, although the two did have a brief discussion at dinner. Austin says more conversations are needed to avoid miscalculations that could lead to crisis. Lindsay Watts, ABC News, Washington.